Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what is in my bag. This video has been so highly requested and I recently got a new bag. I wanted to wait until I got a new bag to film this because I had the same bag as last time up until recently. So today I'm showing you my beautiful new bag that I am just in love with and showing you everything that I keep inside it. I've seen so many people saying like, oh I wish it was like old school YouTube again. And I thought this is such a good way to do like an old school 2014 YouTube type video. Also, I've changed up my background a little bit. I'm in my lounge right now. Hopefully it looks okay. Hopefully you like it. Let me know in the comments if you like this setup. Also, thank you Ellie so much for the little V. I love it. It's so cute. So without any more rambling, without further ado, let's just get on into what you guys are here to see. So, the bag that I have is from June London. I'm going to do like a separate little shot of this, but this is what it looks like. I absolutely love this bag. It was slightly more expensive for me. If you guys have been following the channel for a long time, you know that I always buy my handbags from like Primark or somewhere cheap. And I really wanted to get kind of like a more expensive, slightly luxurious bag because I wanted to treat myself a little bit. So this is the bag that I got. It's going to be in an upcoming haul video. It's from June London. It's got two little D's on the clasp. And then it says June London on the right hand one. To open it you just flip this little thing around and then pop that over. I love the extra level of security. I go to London a lot and in London there's obviously a lot of like pickpocketing and stuff like that. And this bag is slightly more difficult to get into. And I also hold it as like a handheld bag so it's kind of a little bit closer to me and it's just... I feel safe with this bag. The colours of it are so lovely. I love that it's really like classic and quite muted. And then on the insides here, it's got this really beautiful, like, corally, is it coral or coral? I have no idea, but this really beautiful, like, corally, reddy orange colour down the middle. I just think it's so lovely and so different. It adds something extra, and it just really complements the brown and the blue as well. And also, all the hardware on it is a really nice shade of gold. I think a lot of golds can look quite tacky. I'm more of a silver person. Maybe a little bit like rose gold. My ring is kind of rose gold. But this is kind of like a nice muted gold, I guess you could say. My hair looks like a complete mess today. I just don't know what's going on with it. But yeah, let's get into what's inside of it. So to open it, like I said, you flip this over. It goes over the back. And then there's a little zipper across the top. It's a really nice zipper. I'm going to pop my bag on my lap because it's going to be difficult pulling everything out. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you the insides of it. So inside the bag, it's got a divider down the middle and then two kind of rectangular pockets with a small little folding one here. So to start with that little zip side pocket, I keep this in there because otherwise I just lose it. And this is what I use to get my footage off my camera onto my laptop. I used to have a big 27 inch iMac and I just found that I wasn't really using it so I sold that and thought you know what I need something that's kind of like handheld, I can take it to London with me, I can take it travelling with me. So I got one of the new MacBooks in rose gold, it's so pretty and I use that and it's just so lovely to edit on, it's really fast because it's new and it's got like the upgraded RAM and stuff like that but it doesn't have a USB slot or an SD card slot so I bought this, I will link it below because I know that a lot of you guys might be looking for something similar, but you can actually charge your computer through it, you can use a like SD card slot, you can use one of those little tiny SD cards, and there are also two USB ports. If you have one of those laptops, these are literally essential, it wasn't that expensive and it works really well, you just slot it in and then it's fine. <laughs> I keep this in my bag because otherwise I would just lose it, anything small like this, I I don't know, just disappears. <laughs> it's like socks in the washing machine. So if I'm completely honest, I usually keep my laptop in here as well on like a day-to-day -day basis. Because when I'm going to the office and stuff like that, I like to have my laptop with me because it's got all my data on it and files and stuff like that. If I'm just using it to go to town or go for a meal or something like that, and I'm not doing worky stuff throughout the day, then I won't bring my laptop with me. So this is what it looks like on an everyday basis. So in this side, I've got a little notebook. This is from Tesco, I believe. It's got a little YouTube sticker on it. I love this, it's so nice. I use it in two different ways. I write like some topics at the back and some topics at the start as kind of like a divider so I don't need two separate notebooks. Um, this notebook I use for like my personal business, which is YouTube. 
and then like businesses I run as well because obviously I don't want to get that all mangled up and I still need to have a notebook with me throughout the day because I get work stuff coming up for all different businesses so it's just nice to have a notebook that has little dividers in it and it also has a little string that you can pop through as well but this is just lovely it's a really nice size and yeah this is just a really handy notebook I always carry a notebook with me because meetings pop up all the time like if you guys run businesses or you own a business or anything like that you know that meetings pop up all the time you can be just like emailing someone they'll be like this could be better over a call or can we like skype and discuss it so it's good to have a notebook i cannot just retain information in my head i need to write it down so i always carry a notebook and i'm sure there's one in here somewhere it's definitely a pen is that a pen I always have a notebook and a pen with me because it is just essential for my life. I'm sure it's essential for a lot of people's life. Um, yeah, notebook and a pen. I need it to get through my day-to-day -day living. <laughs> the next thing I have in here is a little walnut whip. Um, actually, this isn't a walnut one. This is a caramel one. I got this for Christmas. There was three in a box and I just popped it in my bag. But you know what, if I'm ever fancying a little snack, I'll leave this in. I'm sure like Victoria tomorrow will really appreciate this. <laughs> and then the last thing in that side are my gloves. My next door neighbour got these for me and they're like classier gloves, I guess. Um, I really like them, she's really well picking them out for me. They're like this kind of burgundy but also kind of oxblood shade gloves and they've got little frills around the wrist area which is really nice. These are kind of like classier gloves, not like playing in the snow gloves. So I really like having these in my bag because like I said, if I'm doing like worky things, I don't really want like big fluffy gloves. I want some more business looking gloves. Does that make sense? I'm a freak. I know, I know. Now onto the second side. This side is usually a lot more full with the notebook because obviously I keep my laptop in there and the laptop charger. So this side is where I have the main bulk of things at the moment. So first thing I have in there are my sunglasses. I know it's winter right now, but when I'm driving and the sun's in my eyes, I really like to have sunglasses in the car. They're just these ones. I think they're from River Island. They're really nice. I'll try one for you. I really like these sunglasses, I feel like my head's slightly too big for them, but they've got like a tortoise shell and then a cream surrounding as well, which is really nice. Like in here, it's all cream, which is just a really lovely touch. And I do keep them in a glasses case because otherwise they get broke with everything else in here. So I'd like to keep them in there. The next thing in this side is a hairbrush. I have naturally curly hair and with the weather at the moment, it's been raining a lot. So if I get caught in the rain and I don't have a brush with me to brush it out before it dries, I look like Monica in Friends when she goes to that really humid country. That's what happens to me. I don't know why. It's not a good look for me though. So I keep a brush with me. This one is from Wet Brush Pro. I absolutely love this. Look at it. It's so teeny tiny and then you just push on this little pink thing in the back and you just pop the brush out. I should probably take all the hair out of it. Can you see that? The next thing in here is my perfume. This is La Vie Est Belle from Lancome or Lancome, however you say it. And if you don't know what perfume I'm talking about, when I tell you the advert, you will. It's the one where Julia Roberts is at like the dining table and she gets up and she walks the wall and she touches it and it turns into like glitter and then she's like in Paris and the Eiffel Tower is in front of her. It's that perfume, it smells so good. I'm gonna put some more on now. I love it. It's so nice. I've wanted this for the longest time and I got it on sale at Christmas and I got the little gift set so I absolutely love this it's got like a little French like neckerchief around the bottle head which is so cute I love it and now I'm like ingesting perfume I'm so worried that this is out of focus because my remote control that I ordered doesn't work I've ordered a new one but please be in focus I can't even tell my eyes are so bad so the next thing I have in here obviously is my purse this is from I have no idea where but it's got a little reindeer on it and this is like a little slip in here like if you need to like access something quickly like i don't know i like this it's just a tiny little slip in the front ease of access this is really nice quality it's in an upcoming haul i think that's going live on the 4th of february so if you want to know more details about stuff that i'm showing you right now it'll probably be in there but inside my purse i just have like my bank card my driving license my shell card my IKEA card, and I also keep this little card that my nan got to me. It says, to my special granddaughter, and it's just got a really lovely little message on it, and I love to keep that in my purse, because 
I love my Nan. And I've also got a Vets for Pets. Wait, no. Yeah. No. I've also got a little Pets at Home gift card as well because I spoil my dogs a little too much. Um, and then I just keep like changing my purse. I never carry like uh, paper money. I always carry just like change for parking and stuff like that. So that's what's in my purse. The next thing in here obviously is my car keys and my house keys. These usually, they spend the majority of their life in my bag because I have like a keyless entry car where you just like put your hand like in the thing or like press a button and it opens without needing the key because it can sense that the key's near. I have one of those so this just stays in my bag. Um, and then I've got all my house keys here as well. I'm always losing my house keys or like misplacing them or forgetting them. So like three different people <laughs> have spare keys to my house because I am just useless with house keys. <laughs> the next thing in my bag is my lipstick. I actually haven't got any on right now. But this is my lipstick. It's from L'Oreal and it's in the shade 039. I love it. I love this lipstick. It's like the perfect nude for me. It's got the perfect amount of pinks in it, the perfect amount of browns in it. It is just perfect. I think it suits me really well. And I've been using this for probably, this lipstick, this exact lipstick has lasted me. Maybe five years. I've had this for a really, really long time. And I just love it. I really love it. Oh, I know, it's in the shade 630. It's a colour riche lipstick if you're interested. And then the last thing in my bag is a pair of tweezers because if you didn't know I wear fake eyelashes so obviously they can like fall out or you need to readjust them and I keep tweezers in my bag in case I need them because last thing you want is like eyelashes all over your face when you're out and you can't fix it so I keep that and I always keep like eyelash glue in my pocket in case it's a mishap so that is everything that's in my bag. So that is everything I keep in my bag. I absolutely love this. I just think it is so so beautiful. It's like, it's the nicest bag I've ever had and it's it's such nice quality, you can feel the quality in it which is just lovely. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what your number one necessity is to have in your handbag. Is it lip balm, your keys, a phone charger, what is it that you always need in your handbag no matter what. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe maybe. I really want to get to like a bigger milestone this year like subscriber wise so if you enjoyed this video be sure to click it it'd mean a lot to me and if you want to know more about me or see a little bit more of me then my instagram and twitter will be linked in the description for you to take a look at i post regularly on both so it'd be cool to see you over there i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you next sunday with a brand new video bye